Welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program, folks. We are going to take a little tour here at the beginning because I have been doing a lot of work in between episodes and I just want to give you a quick look at what it is that I have done so that you have an idea of what's happening uh, before we get into the actual episode. So we will do a quick look around uh, some different stars. Uh, we're going that way. And some different star systems and I'll show you what has been done so here we are we are in Mirfak 1 and here is a nice gas giant and on this gas giant there are a bunch of orbital collectors so I have set up 40 or orbital collectors on this gas giant, and it has fire ice and hydrogen. So that's pretty good. Let's lift up here, and we'll head over to this planet. And I do believe I set something up on this planet, but I'm not actually 100% sure. But I think I did. Even if I didn't, it's a cool planet. It's a really cool planet. So let's just see... Did I set anything up here? No, I didn't. But it has organic crystals and it has a lot of crude oil. So we're going to want to tap into this planet and it has crap tons of coal. And look at this nice little cluster of oil soups and look at this how fast they are 6.8 a second 6.8 a second 6.6 6.8 beautiful doesn't have that much of any other items just coal crude oil and some organic crystals now if we take a look at mifak 3 uh, it has some iron, copper, silicon, titanium. Not too interesting a planet. The silicon, 20 million. Okay, that's interesting, but the rest, not really an interesting planet. And that is actually all there is here. So we have crude oil, organic crystals, and the gas giant. That's main, the main reason that we, we went to, uh, to Mirvak. So yeah, so next stop will be uh, Asha, which we will go take a look at. So I'll be right back. Right, we are almost at Asha. So let's take a look here, uh, up here where we want to go and here we have another gas giant beautiful isn't it 40 orbital collectors on this one as well and if we take a look this one has hydrogen and deuterium lovely deuterium is very very nice to get and again, we have a satellite somewhere. Let's just take a look at the entire star system. So we have fire ice and then we have hydrogen, deuterium and a lot of iron, copper and titanium. So this is probably something that we'll want to hook into at some point. But there isn't really anything else here for us right now. So I just wanted to show you the gas giant that we have set up. Oh, and we might as well start doing some research, right? So next stop will be... Uh, let's have a look. Why am I going so slow? So next stop will be... Theta Horology that we'll go take a look at. 
because stuff has happened there as well. So I'll be right back. All right, we are almost at Theta Horology, and I don't remember the planet number that we want to go to. I actually think it's two. Let's just stop here and see. We're almost out of power anyway. So let's take a look at the star. So here in Theta Horology, oh, 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 look at those resources. We have Sulfuric Acid Ocean, we have Spiniform Stalagmite Crystal, which we need to hook into. We have Organic Crystal, 7 million of them, Fractal Silicon, Fire Ice, very nice crude oil, a lot of coal, stone, titanium, silicon, copper, and iron. So there's basically everything here. So this is definitely a system that is worth noting. And I think Theta Horology 2 is where we want to go. Yeah, there's Spiniform Stalagmite Crystal. So let's head there. Let's speed up. And as you can already see, there is some stuff on here. So I set up a few things and we just got the mass energy storage technology, which is uh, this one, which gives us mass energy storage. Okay, it's made in a particle collider. And then we'll get controlled annihilation and an artificial star. Are the next two. Cool, cool. Can we queue up here? We can. Let's queue that up as well. I already unlocked 30 degrees. So this one will be 45. But anyway, here we have a few things. We have some organic crystals here. We have some coal. We have some more organic crystals. We have some power. We have some more organic crystals, some coal, some coal, some coal. So very nice. And there's also crude oil here, so we can get that going as well. And then we have a tiny little setup of smelters over here. So they are smelting our coal into graphite, energetic graphite. So I think this is enough for a long time. And with all the coal veins that we've hooked up, it's also enough coal for a long time. So that is very nice. Um, let's just zoom out here. Uh, I don't think I set up anything on any of the other Theta Horologies. No. No. I didn't. Uh, let's just check number four as well. I might actually have set up Fractal Silicon on Theta Horology 4. Maybe. Uh, let's... Oh, I should have done this while we were... Looking around, I want to charge up a bit. So let's just stick down a few of these and get charged up. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. We're almost there. We are almost there. Good. We are full. So let's quickly head over to Theta Horology 4. 
if I can find it. There's State Aurology 5. State Aurology 4 is over there. Alrighty. Let's head over there. I think I set up fractal silicon over here. If I didn't, then we had a nice little stroll through space. It'll only take a second to get over there. Okay, I'm at. Oh, a few seconds. A few seconds. Granted. But anyway, while we're heading over there, if you're enjoying Dyson Sphere, if you're enjoying this series, it re it would really help me out a lot if you would hit that like button, leave some comments, uh, maybe subscribe if you're not subscribed already. It really helps me out a lot, and I appreciate it so much every single time. So if you want to help out the channel a little bit, hit the like button, hit the subscription button, and... Uh, leave a few comments. Did I set up anything here? No, I didn't. Dang it. I was sure I did. Oh, the fractal silicon. Where is the fractal silicon? There it is. One of them. Oh, well. Oh, I forgot. Stupid me. Um... We need to head back to number two. Where is number two? Data Horology two. Let's head over there. There's Control Alienation. An Alienation? Annihilation? Is what it's called. And that gives us Annihilation Constraint Sphere and Antimatter Fuel Rod. Cool. Looking forward to that. Let's get over here again. I wanted to show you the uh, spiniform crystal thingies. They look pretty cool and we want to set up the mine as well before we move on. Oh, there was a little gravitational pull there from uh, from the star. Okay, That's... boom, we landed. So the spiniform stalagmite crystal thingies are. Over there, up there. There's 459,000 of them, 69,000, and that is all of them on the planet. So we just need to set up a few uh, miners here, and we're good. And we can run them into here. So, spiniform stalagmite crystal. Now, these, whoops. Uh, the spiniform stalagmite crystals are used for. Um, can't see it in there. Can't see it here. Ooh, artificial star! That's cool. So, if we take a look here, what is it that they're used for? They're used for carbon nanotubes. So two spiniform stalagmite crystals uh, gives us two carbon nanotubes every two seconds. Er, every four seconds, sorry. So it's a real easy setup to make uh, carbon nanotubes. Really, really easy setup. And it's they're made in a chemical facility. So let's quickly set up some miners here. And there. 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 
Five miners. And let's run some lines. Let's just run next to the coal. Can't do that all the way, but... There we go. And you. You. And can squeeze one more in here, can't we? That hits five. Let's do that. There. Give you some power. There we go. Spiniform stalagmite crystals are coming in. Everything is built. Beautiful. And these will be local and remote supply. So should we set up, I mean, we have uh, chemical plants on us, right? Yeah, 30. So should we... Perhaps over here, somewhere. Well, just somewhere. Doesn't necessarily have to be over there. Set up the... Production. Hmm. I'm actually thinking no. I mean, we have plenty of power. That's not a problem. But that's also because nothing is going at the moment. And so, no. I don't think so. I think we'll do that somewhere else. So, next stop... will be Mushida over here where I have also done a bit of work so let's go and I'll see you when we're almost there right we are almost at Mushida and there are only two planets here in this star system so let's see if we can find one of them and head there let's do you And land. Cool, cool. So here in Mushida, we have Mushida 1 and 2. And all I am doing on these two planets. Uh, let's take off. Actually, let's not take off. Let's just go to uh, star map. No, not the star map. M. M key. So we have some Kimberlite ore here, which was why I went here in the first place. Uh, but I have mined up every single vein on this planet. There are miners on every single vein on this planet. Hooked up to uh, interstellar logistics towers. Dyson Street stress level 3. Cool, cool. And they all have uh, logistics vessels and space warpers. So, from this planet, we'll get 620,000 Kimberlite ore, 146,000, 40, Jesus, English, 146,000 coal, 18 million stone, 10 million titanium, 10 million copper ore, and a million iron ore. So, that's Mushida 2. Let's take off, and you can see there are things going around. And let's see if we can find Mushida 1. There it is. And you can see there are vessels going to Mushida 1 as well. So let's get over there and take a quick look.
Bam. On machine one. We have sulfuric acid ocean. We have a bit of coal, a bit of stone, a lot of titanium, a bit of silicon, a lot of copper, and a lot of iron. And every single vein on this planet is hooked up to a miner. So we're basically strip mining an entire solar system, which I think is pretty cool. Everything is hooked up. There's nothing that isn't hooked up. And we also have, uh, this is sulfuric acid production from the ocean. And I have that somewhere else as well. I have two there. So this one is only 27. I could only fit 27 in here, but that's okay. Uh, and this one has a lot of storage. I really should do that at the other one as well. Do I have any storage tanks on me? I have 14. Okay. Hmm. And what I'll do... I'll run this out here. And we'll do storage. Storage. So as high as it'll go. Not that close to the tower, though. So, is it seven? No, it's eight that it can go up. So, we'll take one off and do this. Okay, 14 storage tanks, we'll run this in here, we'll run it in here, and we'll run it out here, come back, and go in. Okay. So we'll have sulfuric acid for ages. <laughs> so yeah, we are strip mining Mushida completely. So everything you see here is being tapped. Everything. Which I think is pretty darn cool. And we need it. And we need it. So, our next stop is going to be Mars. If I can find it. There. Mars. 17 light years away. So, we might need to make a quick stop in Iota Buddhist on the way because we don't have the power to go 17 light years. So. I'll head back to uh, Iota Buddhist real quick, and then to Mars. So, let's jump. We're in Iota Buddhist. I can't remember if I showed you this, but I have set up a little bit of magnet production because we need so many of them it's crazy how many magnets we need uh, so here we are producing 90 magnets a second 90 magnets a second is being produced here on this little production line and as you can see i covered a titanium vein to put it down doesn't matter doesn't matter we have plenty of titanium plenty of titanium so yeah so, let's head on. Okay, we are almost at Mars, and I don't know which planet we're going to. We'll just select one and go there. Let's go to Mars 2, for instance. 
And the reason that we're here in Mars is that this is where we want to build our Dyson Sphere. So let's land here. And the reason that we want to build our Dyson Sphere here in Mars is we have a luminosity of 2.027 here. So it's a very bright star. And I'm guessing that that um, has something to do with how much power we get out uh, of it. So that's why we are, we are building it here. And also it has some nice resources. It has sulfuric acid ocean, has optical grading crystals, has fractal silicon, kimberlite or fire ice, and a sh oh, sorry, crap ton of iron, <laughs> copper, silicon, titanium, stone, and a little bit of coal. So it has a lot of resources. A lot of resources, which is really cool. So even though we're strip mining an entire star system over in Mushida, we can produce a lot more here if we want to. So let's identify the planet that we want to build on. Orbital Resonance 1, 4, what does that mean? I have no idea. It's a lava planet. It has a lot of the iron and copper and titanium in the system. A little bit of silicon, it has some kimberlite ore, some fractal silicon, optical grading crystals, and it's close to the star, so this might be a very good location to build it, or to make it. But I am actually thinking, because we don't really need to be close to the star to shoot out the solar sails. We need we want to be close to the star for absorbing the power, I think. So I'm thinking that we could build well, let's take a look at mass three. There's kimberlite ore, copper, some titanium, some stone. There's 122% solar energy. This has 143% solar energy. So, I'm actually thinking that we might stay here. So, this is volcanic ash. This was lava. This is an arid desert. This is a Gobi planet. And this is an Asin Gelisol. And this up here... Is an ice field gelisol. Okay. So I am actually thinking that... Mass 2 is a good place to build our... Railguns. Look at that star. It is bright. Oh, it is bright. All right, so hmm, I guess we'll build at both poles so that if one of them can't shoot, the other can. Yeah, I think that's the plan. But first. Do I have any... I have five energy exchangers. And I have a lot of solar panels. Oh, oh some solar panels. Not a lot. How much of this planet is... Construction area? 99.3%. Nice. Alright. Let's find the equator. Oh, uh, in between episodes I also set up a bit of production of these guys, wireless power towers and satellite substations, so that we now have them automated. The 
equator is here. So let's start here and I will set all these up and then I'll be back. Alrighty, our new home, our new production planet, our new factory planet has been powered up with a bunch of solar panels. There were two veins in the way I considered covering them up, but covering up three and a half million titanium and three million copper just seemed wrong to me, so I decided against it. Now here we have a tower and it is requesting solar panels, conveyor belts, sorters, splitters and space warpers. Now we're going to do this with everything. So we'll copy this tower and then we'll stick down another one here. Now these solar panels totally produce 65.966. Uh, megawatts of power. That's obviously not going to be enough in the long run, but it'll be fine for now. So in this one we'll request miners, uh, water pumps, um, we don't need oil refineries here, do we? No. Uh, smelters, uh, assembling machines, and chemical plants. And we want that. We want local storage, local storage, local storage, local storage, local storage. We want some power. want some of these bad boys and then we'll see uh, oh we don't want these in here that's a mistake actually maybe it's not let's try something because if I run a belt here with space warpers then it'll just fill that up and we don't need to utilize that space for space warpers. So chemical plants, local storage, we don't want 10,000 of any of this, let's say 200, 500, 500, 200, and 200. Well, demand remote demand, remote demand, remote demand, remote demand. We're not actually making chemical plants on IOTA Buddhist uh, 3 yet, but we will at some point. IOTA Buddhist will kind of be our uh, our mall planet that's supplying everything else. So there, that's set up. And then we want the next one. Start powering you immediately. And what do we want here? We certainly want interstellar logistics stations. Uh, we'll want some vertical launching silos. We'll probably want some fractionators and some particle colliders and some EM rail ejectors. Yeah. Uh, let's give you some of these. Set you to 10. And get the belt in. Like so. And then we want Let's say a hundred, a hundred, a hundred, a hundred, and a hundred. Local storage, local storage, local storage, local storage, local storage. 
remote demand remote demand remote demand remote demand remote demand we're not actually making the vertical launching silos yet okay next tower And here we definitely want uh, logistics drones, logistics vessels, um, hmm. storage mark two, storage tank. Refinery. We didn't set up oil refinery anywhere, did we? Not there. Not there. Okay. So, local storage, local storage, local storage, local storage, local storage. Um, some of you. 10%. Remote demand, remote demand, remote demand, remote demand, and remote demand. Uh, I want 500 of you and 100 of you. Ooh, I forgot to do this first. Dang it. Uh, 200, 200, and 100. That's a lot of storage tanks we have incoming. That's okay. Oh, we're not getting any logistics drones. Why are we not getting any logistics drones? Should be able to get logistics drones. Hmm. Oh, here they come. Okay. So... With all of these charging, of course there's not enough power. 139 megawatts at once. But that's okay. So let's take a look at this uh, artificial sun that we can now make. It provides 75 megawatts of power. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I like that. And I guess it needs the antimatter fuel rods to run. They take... Uh, this stuff. Antimatter. Which is made from a critical photon. Which is made in a ray receiver. Okay. Hydrogen. How is the critical photon used in the hydrogen fuel fuel rod? I guess it's the hydrogen that's used there. Okay. So the antimatter fuel rod takes the annihilation constraint sphere, which take particle containers and processors. More processors. Take some titanium alloy, some hydrogen, and the antimatter. How did we make the antimatter from the critical photons made in the array receiver? So it's really important that we start getting our Dyson sphere built. For that, we are going to need small carrier rockets, which take deuterium fuel rods, um, quantum chips, and 
Dyson Sphere components. Dyson Sphere components take solar sails, frame material, and processors. Jesus. Three processors. Our processor setup is not big enough, and I am producing 60 something processors a second, and that's not going to be enough. We're going to need to make, set up, make a bigger processor setup up here on our new factory planet. Which also means that this one line of solar panels is not going to be enough. We're going to need at least one more, probably two or three more. And they'll just be on this side of the uh, equator. So yeah, uh, let's grab like a hundred of these. How are we doing for power here? We're okay. We're okay. Okay, so this is our little mall area. I think we have more or less everything that we need in here now. Yeah. Well, what do we need to make these the vertical launching silos? Wow. Wow. We're going to need more quantum chips as well. And titanium alloy. 80 titanium alloy then we don't need like a billion of them graviton lenses 20 graviton lenses we're going to need more frame material as well so well the carbon nanotubes are easy now and sulfuric acid we have there we can order that silicon we can order everything because we have quite a lot of everything being made. I think I'll set up the energy exchangers on this planet as well. Um, where do we want to do that? I suppose here would be fine. I suppose here would be fine. I'll figure that out and um, set it up and we'll have some more power going in the next episode. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you're excited about finally being at Mars, where we're going to build our Dyson Sphere. We're going to start getting all of the components together for building the Dyson Sphere and get us launching the vertical ships uh, or vertical rocket launchers. So we can start building the Dyson Sphere. And it's gonna be wonderful. I can't wait. I can't wait. Oh. Oh, it has some ideas for us. We can either do that or that, or we can make our own grid, and I think we want to make our own grid. Oh, this one does look pretty cool. Oh, and let's quickly before we end, can we go up one more? We can. So let's get the next level going as well. Man, it goes fast. Look at that. Oh, now it stopped almost completely. Here we go again. Going up. Oh, we'll get there. We'll get there. It's all good. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.